Hello! Today I'm going to be doing something slightly different. I'm going to be doing a review of the whole of the Sylvanian family's wedding sets and do talk about all of them. I have done a review of the photography set and the wedding cake and accessory set before so if you want to see that in more detail I'll put a link to those videos but I thought it'd be cool if I did a review and talked about the whole of the wedding stuff because I was going to do a review of the wedding chapel but as I only unboxed it like a few months ago I thought I might as well just do a review of everything so let's get started so first I'll show you how I've got everything set up and I'll tell you all the names of all the sets as I go around so here at the front we've got the wedding car this is the newer one and then over here we've got the wedding photographer set we've got the old wedding car which was actually the first car I got and these figures here we've got the bridesmaids and then the vicar, the couple and the page boy these were from the I think it was called the wedding celebration set or something like that and that was for the wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge so that's why they're called Catherine and William and that was to celebrate that I think it was from 2011 I think or somewhere around then so behind them you can see sky blue wedding chapel then here we've got the wedding marquee with the Dante Cream Cats wedding couple. So this is Arabella and Troy. And we've also got the wedding cake and accessories set. And we've got another bridesmaids set. So now I'm going to look at everything in a bit more detail so here is the wedding car I got this in 2007 for Christmas so it was one of the first things I got and you can see at the front it says urban life so it's part of the urban life range and it's got these really lovely like luxurious red seats it's got a little horn here at the front and the steering wheel so that is details on the door there and the wheels I think this is probably one of my favourite cars because I've had it for so long and I think it just looks really fancy. So here we've got the photographer Cecil Maces with his camera and all his equipment and if you want to see my full review of that I'll put a link for that now. And yeah I think it's really cool with the old-fashioned camera but I won't say too much detail because you've probably already seen the review I did last week so this is the wedding celebration set we've got the bridesmaids so this is Amelia Periwinkle I really love her blue dress I think it's really pretty and it looks good with Louise's pink dress like they've got the same style dress but just different colours and the cute little bows on their ears and then we've got Catherine Chocolate 
and she's got a bunch of flowers and it's also got a rubber band to wrap it around her paw so she can hold it easily. And here is the vicar, Kelvin Waters, and he's a beaver. And then we've got William Balmoral, and he's got his very fancy pink tie on. Looks very smart in his suit. And then we've got the page boy, James Periwinkle. And he's wearing a suit too. I think it's really cute because it's kind of like the same as Williams. It matches, he just hasn't got a tie on. So I think that's really cute that they're matching. So here we've got the newer wedding car. I really love the black and like creamy colour. I think that looks really cool, so it still looks quite fancy, but I think I prefer the shape of the other one, it's kind of more old fashioned, like an old classic car, it looks really cool, but this one's more kind of decorated for a wedding car, so it's got like all the ribbons and roses and everything, it looks really pretty, I'll show you the back. So on the boot, oh the ribbon's fallen off, they just go on that bit there like that. On the boot it just says just married and that opens up so you can put something in there. And the number plate looks like it says romance with a zero for the O and a four for the A. And then we've got these cans with shoes that are hanging at the back, which are really cool. Oh, the ribbon's falling off again. It keeps falling off. So I think this one's good to have after the wedding they can leave in this car as it says just married on it and I think the other car, the old one, is good for arriving at the chapel in. So here is the wedding marquee and it's lovely white colour with, with red around it which makes it look really fancy with the red I think. And it's good that it's white because it goes with like all the wedding clothes, like the dress and everything and the cake. Just with the lovely red accent. So the only things that come with the marquee are this stage with the two little speakers. And the microphone so you can make a speech or you could have someone come to sing at the wedding. I think this is good to use for the party after the wedding so they can get married at the chapel and then come to the wedding marquee to celebrate. So here is the cream cat wedding couple. So they are Arabella and Troy Dante. I think her dress is my favourite. It's got a really big bow on the front. I think it just looks so pretty. And she's got this veil. And I also love the like sky blue colour of Troy's suit. I think it looks so fancy. Like with this lacy tie on the front, just looks so cool. And also being sky blue, it matches with the wedding chapel. So that's really cool. I think I got them as um, 
the fan club membership renewal gift, which was probably, I don't even know what year, quite a long time ago. Here are the other bridesmaids, so these are the bright eyes rabbits and we've got Charlotte and Olivia and they've got red and pink dresses but Charlotte's is mainly red with like pink bow and Olivia's is the other way round, pink with a red bow. And they've also got a basket with confetti in. I'll show you their dresses up close. You can see she's got a pink bow on her ear and on her dress. It's very pretty. Here is Olivia. So I think that's cute that they have like similar dresses but they're kind of switched which colour there's more of on both of them. This one's more pink and that one's more red but they're both like the same style so I think that looks really cool. So the wedding cake and accessories set I've already done a detailed review of them so I'm not going to say much about it now but I just really love the wedding cake with the little figures on top I think that looks really cute and all the gifts and cards are really nice as well. I forgot to show you earlier the baby chocolate rabbits couple. So I'll show you them now. And I'm not sure what their names are. I like to think they're either a younger version of Terry and Frasier or a younger version of Catherine and William. Because they can't be Krem and Cape because they're siblings. So here is the groom. He's got a lovely suit with light blue shirt with a navy suit. It's kind of similar to the cream cap suit being light blue but then it's also got navy as well but similar with the same lacy tie bit and here comes the bride she's got a lovely dress and veil So now the last thing to show you is Sky Blue Wedding Chapel. So I've just moved all of the people away from the chapel so I can show you it in detail. They're now all having a party in the wedding marquee. So here is the chapel. You can see the beautiful stained glass windows. I think this is probably my favourite thing about it. Like the pink, blue and green, like flowery patterns on them they're just so beautiful even like on here you can see there's like a flowery shapes just on the wall and over this side as well it's got this lovely light blue archway and the bell hanging down in the middle We've got this lovely stone steps going up to the wedding chapel. So now I'm going to show you the inside. So it comes with two benches and they've both got little flowers at the ends. And I've put them like this, like create a aisle to walk up. And then we've got this like wooden bit here with steps up to this tiled area. And we've got, also comes with a bunch of roses. And you can see the windows again from the inside. 
you can see the details like even like a pillar as well makes it look so like fancy and put the bell up there and then this side got a piano and we've also got a basket of confetti like with the bridesmaids it's similar to what they have lovely pink stool to sit on at the piano the organ as it's got these pipes on it you can see it's got another pillar behind there in the windows as well which looks so pretty with the light going through them I think it's just such a beautiful place and it's just so good that I finally got it because I have like everything else and all I needed was somewhere for them to get married and now they've got the perfect place so now everyone is in here I think it looks really good once it's all set up with lots of people inside and you can see the vicar and the page boy are dancing. They're all having a lovely time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.